already. Like, I just don't believe this, man. He brought the events that murder him. Wait, this, are there events that, that trigger his death? So this is actually scripted then. Like at this point, this is just getting so annoying. I just like kind of want to give up trying to scum it. Because like, I mean, I'm close, but like, this is just so fucking annoying. I mean, actually, chat, I'm going to ask, what happens after he, if, if Austria gets low countries, what happens? Do, does, does Austria release these guys back out later on or what? Like, I remember at some point, you just, like, if you play Austria, like, you just have an option to release the low countries as independent princes. And the AI almost always do it because it increased the, uh, the, the IA. But he keeps almost, almost always, he keeps, oh, okay then. And I suppose the Dutch revolt is not the thing anymore, right? Usually keeps it, yeah, then fuck it. I'm, I'm scumming for it. Brittany and Ice Burgundy. And so Austria, Brittany, and Frankfurt is the new contender. Why is it so hard to become a fucking monarchy, man? Like, why is it so hard to tank my Republican tradition? I'm so fucking close. Just stay alive for a bit fucking longer. There's so much to ask for. Oh, they have tolerance. Or something. Wait, what? Hmm? Wait, aren't they Catholic? But they have tolerance on offer. To oh, because maybe because uh, of the maybe because of uh, uh, estate privileges. Yeah, I mean AI just do it these days. Like they don't they don't convert anything anymore. Well, I'll do it anyway because I also need that. Okay, good. Good that Burgundy is going getting through half a year without dying. Fifty three now. When is my next re-election? Eighty eight, like next year. So we're close. Just need to tank it a bit more. Dude, I just want to ask, like, don't we, should we be getting a shitload of event that, that, uh, that lets me buy Republican tradition or tank it further? Like, I remember back in the day when I played Republic, that happens so often when you get low Republican tradition. Like, nowadays, like, what the fuck? I'm just standing at 30 and then nothing happens. Like, I should be losing it faster than what is happening now. I don't fucking get it. Like I don't I expected to become a monarchy much earlier. This is the problem when you don't play the game as much as you used to, I guess. Didn't they take a hammer to the ball a couple of years ago? I don't know. I thought they buffed it by giving them government reforms or some shit. Alright, this is mine. Circassia. No CB Circassia. My favorite. 
Oh, God damn it. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, thanks a lot, game. Like, this pathing. Thanks a lot. No CB Circassia, my favorite. Haha. <laughs> Lovely. Brings me back to the old days. All right. Maybe we can even trade company this, but there's no point doing it. Anyhow, now we have the core there. We have the coring range in the Mediterranean, even though lots of good that's gonna do me. But at least it's an, uh, well, what you got, uh, is an improvement. Not to mention that uh, now we have a gateway into Asia, somehow. I mean, this is still shit. But, uh, to become a march, nah, no thanks. I'll, I'll, you'll find where you are. It's rival great horde, I guess. Poland. Poland are losing money. Austria, 54 ducats, sure. I mean, I'm surprised though. I played this whole game without loans, I think, so far. Like, that is quite a, a new thing to me. Um, yeah, Burgundy's not dying, kudos to them. Uh, you know the thing, actually, I don't even know if that works. If you don't want to go into PU, you can just get, you can just go to war. Like you can't fall into PU during war. Like, so if someone you don't want to be like, go into PU with some AI, then you can actually drag them into war and just stay in war. That's one of the options. Um, but I mean, the problem is that like right now, I don't even know what the fuck is happening with Burgundy, right? Like. Decline. Yeah, that works. Yeah, but then like the thing is, Burgundy might be different because Burg Burgundian inheritance is an event, right? Like, it's scripted and all that. So I don't think it would work, one hundred percent like that. I mean, at least just from my gut feeling, I think it might not work like that. But like even then, like no, look, now they're not dying. They were like, dying like five times in the last in the last year when I'm fighting Circassia and and and, and whatever this is. So yeah, this is just like a gigantic fucking mess. Oh shit, I forgot these. He can still get PU. Exactly. Then there's no point doing it. <laughs> Gigantic fucking jerk off. Okay, and I'll lose eight Republican countries. Please, just give me the, just, just give me the event, please. I just want to be a monarchy. My guy is so ready to die at five, fifty-six. 
Just please, I'm so close. Why this game? Why this game treat me like this? Why this game has to fuck me all the time? Please, I'm this close. I'm this fucking close. What is my next reelection? Three years. Yeah, I should. I mean, I, I should be getting it now, right? There's just no way. There's just no way. Come on. <laughs> Not this event, it's the other events. We've been worn by the Ottomans. Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you, Ottomans. Fuck you. Like, man, look, see, I'm at 30, I'm, at, I'm in the red, and the game doesn't give a shit. It's like, oh, you want to be a monarchy? I'll do the opposite for you. I'll give you more Republican tradition than you want. Just fucking perfect. Yeah. Man, I can't fucking deal with this. I mean, I can still attack him, but what po what good does it do? What was this again? What was it? Actually, what is it? Wait, we can demand? Wait. This is... Wait, hold on. Wait a second. So if we chat, so Brit, if Brittany gets the fucking PU, we demand Lowlands be released, then that's actually a secondary good option, right? Like because then the Lowlands get released as independent. I attack it, I grab it, just like normal, right? There's, 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 it's, it's not that bad. I think you flip the monarchy when you realize, no, you need to first become a thick presidential dictatorship. It happens when your uh, Republican tradition is, is low enough. Let me check, hold on. EU4, presidential dictatorship. It's like when your Republican tradition is low enough, then yeah, your Republican is low enough, then it, it, it asks you, do you want to become a presidential dictatorship? And then you say yes. Uh, otherwise, you buy yourself back up. And then, like, you become a dictatorship, and then your ruler dies, you become a monarchy. Where the fuck is it? Okay, wait a second. Triggers when re-electing a ruler in a non-tribal republic while below 20 republican tradition. Can also trigger by event for most non-tribal republic at low republican tradition. Okay, so it comes at the event or if it is 20 and I re-elect. So like I said, three to four years or something like that. Not that far. No, no, no. It's like if you are at 20 or below and then you re-elect your ruler, then it 100% flip you. But then if you... But then it can also trigger when you're at low Republican tradition. I guess red means low. So... I guess that's fine. Get red means low. So I'm just waiting for the event to trigger. I don't know how long, like what, what? Hold up a second. Pass an act, the presidential dictatorship government reform. No, this is not the one. Take control of the military. No, not this one. No, not this one. 
Okay, wait a second. <sighs> I mean, I cannot find the event yet. I mean, I, the question is how fast it triggers, but I guess it knowing doesn't really matter because, I mean, what does it matter? You're not going to be able to make it, you're not going to be able to speed it up anyway, right? It's not going to change a goddamn thing. You just have to sit here and wait. Either you wait for this or you wait for the, the event of fire. Like, that's that's the end of it. That is the end of it. Nothing more, nothing less. Can I fabricate claim on my ally? I think I can. Doesn't matter though. I mean, like I said though, like if Brittany gets it and then they release low countries for me to conquer, that's fine. Otherwise, like Brittany himself has no ally, I can also smash his ass. So, uh, not that bad. But, uh, I mean, again, it's better if we get the PU. That's the best situation. I think, like, we've gone this far. Might as well go for it. And what is it, like, three years more or something? Maybe six at most? 55 I mean he can he can stop dying wait he has an heir though if our heir dies or gets its inherit our chance to get a new heir is modified by minus 85 percent Burgundian succession crisis but wait this is wait 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 he just got an heir right this is not gonna fire now right because Marie this is not Marie but I don't know if it matters because she's a woman. We've been chosen. We are the chosen people, chat. We are the chosen people. Frankfurt. No CB Circassia is like so nice. Yeah, the Muscovy, you can go. Any Anyone who is an enemy of the Ottoman is my friend. Okay, he's in the red now. I think we have one year. Free is optimal. Free is optimal. I mean, man, this is gonna be like what? Like all this crap plus three more Dutch countries, right? So we so we would we would get like more than double our development, I think. So yeah, definitely. Wait, how long is this gonna be? Two. Wait, we have what? Uh, six. We have five months past, so we have seven more months. Seven times thirty is two hundred and one. So yeah, we have enough points, I think. This is fine. As for military access, no, fuck you. I should uh, integrate in Meretti though, but I would uh, first get the um, the big pet first, because I need the coring range. One one five. Actually, wait. How is the coring? Uh, how's it? Oh wait, improve relations. Nice. Okay, we finished that and we can check the coring range. But I would say 
having having um I would say having coring range is still more important than getting in Mirati first. Colonial, no. Yeah, definitely need the uh, Definitely need the coring range first. So yeah, there it is. More prestige is always nice. 32. God damn it. So we need about two re elections to tank it even further. Liege. Mm. No. Piss on. Austria. What is my chance, by the way, chat? Like, uh, if Burgundy or Austria doesn't get the PU, who, what is my chance of getting it? Like 10% or something? I remember back in the day, it was like, it was weird. It was like, Austria is like 90% chance of getting it. And then like, um, yeah, I was like, half, Fra back in the day, like France get half of the land that is French. And then like, back in the day, like, yeah, France get half the land, Austria gets half the land, but actually the other half is like 90% Austria, like 10, you know, or something like 60% Austria, 20% Spain, 10% Brandenburg or something crazy. It was fixed, but then you still have like a 10 or 5% chance. But nowadays I have no idea. Come on, man, we're so close. Uh, look at all this. Look at all this land. There's like, what? I want to actually check how much... How much development is there? Burgundy, 250. So low countries, at least another 200, right? Flanders. 42, Holland, 15, yeah, that's another, like, almost 400 development here. They even killed Subway. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, this is much, this is not, like, fucking Cripple Burgundy with, like, half of his shit to France already. This is definitely worth getting. I mean, like, it's free. The point is, if I want to get... All this shit, I would need like 50 years of aggressive expansion at least. There's just no way, realistically, that I can get all this shit. Like, it is HRE after all. People are gonna care. And like I said, we need. I mean, like right now, we can rally the people. To fight the Ottomans and all that, but like just it's better with. Uh, I mean, I don't trust the AI, right? Like the AI suck balls in this game. I mean, wait, so this doesn't work or what? Because it's weak claim or something? I don't even know anymore. I don't even fucking know anymore. What is going on? Okay, we are close. We're this fucking close. Come on, man, just flip me, game. How hard could that be? Three years get me 28, and then I re elect again. 
Yeah, should be doable, should be doable, should be doable. Yeah, I mean, like, I've gone all this way. Might as well go, go, go through with it, the plan. It's like, no point, like, just... No point, like, just stopping here. Just makes no sense if we stop here. <sighs> Too bad we have to go all this fucking way. I mean, like... If Ottomans didn't take Jaffa, I don't actually need... Actually, now Morocco and uh, Mamluks are allied. And Morocco is huge. Damn, man, Morocco is really fucking huge. That, in that... In that case, the Ottomans might have a problem. Expanding into the Mamluks later. Or at least we can backstab them. Paper Tiger Morocco. There's always land. Mm, I mean, autonomy looks good though. I mean, don't underestimate Morocco though. Like, the, 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 the region here is actually not that poor. It's like the point is they have money. Money wins wars. I mean, if somehow this shit is not taken by the Ottomans, I would have just go for the Mamluks right away. I mean, I can't beat them, but still. Hmm. I wouldn't need all this fucking shenanigans with Burgundy, but I mean, if that's in the game, it's just how we're going to play it. It's just too good to really let go okay now we should have a colonial range on all this stuff yeah we do good now even italy actually good this is the one this is the one now we just need burgundy to stay alive until we can pu them Twenty nine Berg Brandenburg's eight. I mean, this is uh, we can keep expanding, I think. But we're of armies, if we get more prestige, that'd be nice too. Yes, good, 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 good. Yes, very good. Stay alive. Just stay alive. That's all you gotta do. I'll be really upset if you die. That's it. Oh shit, this is bad. I need to be careful with uh, this disaster. 97 influence, uh, in influence is not funny. Okay, improved relations decrease my AE even faster. 132% now, so AE goes away if 
five a year, basically. Okay, 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 okay. I'm so excited for this. Burgundy stay alive. Burgundy stay alive. <laughs> All you gotta do is stay alive. What is that? Oh, shit. Idea costs 10%. I will save it for uh, later. I'm going to the new world anyways, right? Okay, how many sailors there are? 490. All right, we need maybe some light ships, but it will get destroyed. Yeah, it will get destroyed if we build it now. And we'll wait. We don't need the ships already. It's like the thing with navy in this game is that either you either you have a big one and then you win against other people's navy, or you just don't need one. There is no middle ground. Okay, Burgundy, you're doing a very good job. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't drink poison, don't hang yourself. Don't suicide yourself. Keep doing what you're doing. And you're doing very, very fucking well. Twenty K from England. Definitely do not do any cavalry charges, exactly. Just wait, I am oh my god, my Republic tradition might be a bit too high. But where's the event? Oh I'm gonna get elected in uh well if it is like two cycles I can still make it because it's like three years each cycle, right? So And then he needs to die. Come on, come on, man, it's like so fun. <sighs> so I guess we need another re-election. Oh, wait. Okay, one re-election, he becomes a dictator, and then he will die, right? Actually, no, wait. The event should fire now, right? Like Because it tanks it even more. We just need to become a dictatorship. Dictatorship, 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 dictatorship. Dictatorship, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. It's just this close. We're just close. We're, we're here to make history. Come on. Should I go to war, chat? Should I go to war? I can, I mean, I can win immediately, but uh, should I just even grab this? I think I should focus on like the coastline instead of here though. I think. Nobility estate, sure. What is the, when is this expiring, 98? Okay. Fuck Republic, man. What? Look at this. Holy shit. The, the influence is go, going through the roof. I'm so excited, chat. Fuck my life. You know what? I'm gonna stop my stream here tonight. This is about 1.30 soon. Alright, chat. Burgundy inheritance incoming. At least that's what we had to do. Mm -mm. Okay, and I'm also filling out the last idea.
that gives me 10% idea cost. With that, it would be 15. With that, it would be 25. So I can actually get like admin or something. But uh, maybe exploration, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can also try getting Scotland. Oh, uh, but that's not going to work. Because, um... That's just not going to work because uh, we don't have ships with no transports. And we have pretty much no navy to even speak of. I think uh, I should go with the original plan. I uh, just got Utrecht for my uh, for more ports because we need sailors. We need sailors and... Yeah, we need sailors, and we need more ports in general to reach places, especially New World. Alright, let's get that. And um, like I was saying, I need to be... A, the more pressing issue is that we need to be a dictatorship, and then I re-elect. No, wait. No, I need to be a dictatorship and this guy has to die. He's 62 and Burgundy is 61. So I would say my guy should die earlier than the other one. Honestly, it, it, that's how it should play out. Not the other way around. Be really stupid if... Well, which has happened um, many times already. Uh, well, what can we do? We need some more trust. I think uh, more trust, especially that Austria has, for some reason, decided to uh, hate Poland instead of the Ottomans, of all things. I don't know why. Hey, Mantle, what's up? So yeah, Burgundy Inheritance. We're still going for it. No no real reason to back down now. And um, what about this guy? Oh yeah, like I said, I can. I think I can destroy them, no problem. This is gonna cost me a lot of AE though. Mm. It, ha it is uh, annoying. It is really kind of annoying. But uh, now Diplo and Humanist are filled. We have the policy. The AE should go away pretty quickly. I have, like, basically focused my entire build on AE right now. And honestly, that's all we need anyway. We can beat... We are sufficiently big enough to beat anyone we want to beat. Ah, uh, what the... Three, seven, three, okay. Uh, with a 999, uh, with a 666 uh, ruler, ideas and tech are really going pretty well. As well as coring. We have other cores we need. And this is gonna be uh, another bit of... Actually, wait, should I integrate them? Maybe I sh don't. Because they can be a very good buffer. I mean... Do I really need this land? I mean, it sure will be useful, but... It's not particularly rich, right? And I'm not short of money. Is it with five in income? 
I don't know. I think, like, I might as well better off keeping them as a vassal for now. I mean, they might give me some sailors, but integrating them at 60 autonomy anyway, might as well just take that. Mine plus five yearly, okay. I think, uh, let's start the war, because there's no reason to sit around for now. Oh yes, okay. Presidential dictator. Okay, we can become a monarchy. We can become a monarchy now, chat. Could produce more of. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, can't take that. <laughs> uh, well, what is the when is the next re election? Oh, wait, no, he has to die. He has to die first. There's no more re election, it's he has to die. Like, it, like I can't re elect to become monarchy now. I have to, I have to. Yeah, but this is good. This is very good. We're this we're super close now. Fuck off, bro. <laughs> uh, just when I started saving, the guy dies. What? What was it? One day after I become a presidential dictatorship. Good Jesus, we're this close. Man, my ruler should die before he he his does. My ruler's older than his, and his ruler just keep dying and dying. Fucking hate it. But I mean this this is also a good thing because I know the moment my ruler dies, then the I can start rolling for getting the inheritance myself. Right? Supposedly, that's how it works. What did I say? Despotism. I actually wonder, it's the, is the death tick uh, already determined the first day? I'm a bit scared about this, not gonna lie. I am think I'm just gonna... I'm a bit scared about that. Save games. Alright, uh, let's see. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Pass. Okay, nothing happens. Okay, we're good. Never mind. Oh, I can't pick that. Years of separatism. Sure. <sighs> Okay, conquer new states, high income. Okay, ruler is still there. So we have to fight the war. 
I mean, I don't have to worry about it because I'm not under PU. Right? They're regrouping in Ordenburg. I need to siege this down fast. Okay, Ordenburg is dying. That's perfect. Oh shit, England is there. Wait, what the f Dude! This AI is fucking useless, man. Dude, this AI is fucking useless, man. Yeah, let's call Poland for help. Man, what is this guy doing? Jesus. Fuck this. Fuck this game, man. What? Oh, what? Oh. Wait, Marie? Wait, why Marie? Oh? Dude, what? He has an error. Nah, this is weird. This game is weird. What, what is going on? Why? How does he like circumvent the usual succession and put Marie on the throne? They have a they have an heir, right? I don't actually understand how this works anymore. So Burgundy can actually choose not to be in P under PU. This is weird. This is actually super weird. But the, still, the problem remains, why is my ruler still alive? I need the guy to die to become monarchy, and I need to become monarchy to marry Burgundy. Okay, so his, his, his king is uh, Charles, and the heir is Catherine. So what the fuck is going on? Why is there suddenly a Marie? I don't actually understand this game. This is stupid. Well, this is going to give me way more sailors and way more port than that. Yeah, this is not good. I think maybe I should take all of this. It will be fine. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I don't care if I lose this war right now. We are going to win this. Okay, monarchy, monarchy. National tax, port maintenance. Stability cost modifier. Yearly legitimacy. Monthly favor. Max privilege. Advisor cost. Cavalry cost. Army tradition. What am I manpower? Really? So we get 3,000 more of that. What about tax? What is my income in tax? Nine ducats, so 15% give me one more ducat a month. So I don't think my economy is ever in trouble, is it? Advisor cost would be more long term. Cavalry cost, cavalry shit though. Cavalry is trash though. For Western. You already army tradition is decent, but yeah. Wait, what is that? Noble Regency. I think advisor cost is fine. It's ten percent. It stacks with uh. Yeah. Sort of stacks with uh. Monthly autonomy change. Minimum autonomy in territories. Called disabled core diet. Wait a second. I I'm leaning towards her do getting this, but um minimum autonomy in territory is gonna be quite useful as well. But actually no, my states are more important. What is my autonomy change? Nothing. So yeah, right, because we need your E, let's take this one. We can always work around the rest. Expand temple rights is uh, minus two and rest. Diplomat plus one. This is actually kind of useful. And loyalty equilibrium. Max tolerance. Well, unfortunately. Thirty-three percent local tax modifier. Yeah, let's go with this one. I, I kind of like this one because of the extra diplomat it gives me for being in HRE, but I think with four we should be okay. Enforcement speed is nice. Very nice, actually. Land attrition is also good. I'll go for reinforcement speed. Because reinforcement is important. Now we have a monarchy. How old is our ruler? 21. Not bad. Not too bad. We'll get this one for lower AE and um, more legitimacy helps as well. I mean, it's expected that I have to spend some mill points on that. So that's what I'm doing. 
and I need a good general. Oh wait, Becca. Here. Cornelius Becca. Now we need to reinforce. Well, with Poland in the play, yeah, we should be okay. Can't believe we have to call Poland though. England actually have a lot of troops. Much more than I expected. If we can stack wipe England, prevent them from escaping. All right, now Duke of Burgundy has to die and pick us to be in a PU with. What other chances? I don't know, but uh, I'm sure shit gonna get it now. Gonna receive scum ten times to get it, even if I have to, because, like, what the fuck? <laughs> we have to do this. This is like, we have went this far for it. We have to do it. It would be it would be a betrayal to myself if I don't do it. Okay, that's the escape route. No, we don't need the thing, we need this. Order block is next. In the Royal Navy. Wait, what are they shipping someone over? Ottomans fighting the Mamluks again. Shit. We do need the Burgundy inheritance. Fuck this game. Go back to the seas where you came from. Where is he going? Where is he landing? What? Wait, I can't see where he's landing. Oh, Ghent. Oh, that's, a, that's pretty far. He's not dying anymore all of a sudden. What the fuck? Burgundy's not dying anymore. Really, man. Fra yes! Chat, we did it. Frankfurt has inherited Burgundy, leaving low Khan Lowland in foreign hands. We will fall under personal union with Frankfurt. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Go! <laughs> oh, buddy! Alright, we need to improve relations. Oh, shit. 
Uh, we need, yeah, definitely need to improve relations. 